I, I'm as excited as I as I can be. Um, that was this is the biggest accomplishment of my life, not even close. Um, obviously, the team team would be much better, but right now it feels really really good. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have had the season we've had without these guys working day and night. I mean, just incredibly hard. And Max has been the leader of this team ever since his buddy Eric Mina left two years ago. Max stepped into that spot and he's been a warrior. He's been a leader right from the start. And I mean, it, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I mean, Max has, Max has had some issues with, you know, being really hard on himself. But there, there are those times when he settles in and, and he understands how the game has played. And then he's as good as anybody, if not the best player in the country, and you've seen that for the last month. I, was, I knew after nine, I had a one or two stroke lead, and then going through the back nine, I knew it was tough. I had made a bogey, just made one birdie, and I figured, just in my head, I, had, I knew I had to be at least up by one. And if someone had caught me, I wasn't too worried about it, just because, I mean, they would have played great back nine. Um, and so that's why I waited until 18, asked them where we stood, he said two up. Um, or whatever it was, three up, and so you know, I just wanted to have a, a number going into that shot. I think when Max made birdie on 12, um, when he started inching ahead, that was when I started really focusing on the individual part. Um, and when he got, when the guy made a great putt, he made about a 10 to 12 footer on on 12, and it was Max gets in these in these modes where he just does everything right. And at that point, I could see that he was in that type of rhythm. And uh, he had a great looking shot on 13, came up a little short, was on the fringe, got up and down, hit it, you know, hit it to 15 feet on 14, uh, made a great two putt on 15. At that point, he was only one up on Brandon. He was, uh, Max was, I think, nine, Brandon was eight. And then <clears throat> Max finished 15, then Brandon chucked a chip on 15 and made double. And at that point, it looked like it was all over if Max could hold steady. And that's, and when Max is in this rhythm, he almost always holds steady, and that's exactly what he did. And we were smiling on 18 because that's where we were back in mid-September. And uh, Max was in the fairway. We were laughing about the yardage. It was 165 back then. And I said to Max, we're going to need another shot here. Georgia Tech is home course. It's too close. And he says, Coach, I like that. Max stuck a 9-on in there, 7 or 8 feet, made birdie, and we wound up being co-champs. So it was a little deja vu, but boy, it was sweet. I can tell you that, and today was really sweet. We work all year for this. This is a, it's a something like a seven-month grind. This is where it culminates. So um, it's not just one week. It, it, it's a lot of work and, a, and a, just a, a lot of grinding. And for it to, you know, to win the national championship really does mean a ton. I don't know what's going to happen in the next three days. Um, match plays a single day. Anybody can get hot, anybody can cool off, and, uh, but what I do know is this is one of the greatest teams that's ever played college golf, and uh, win, lose, or draw, I am so proud of these guys, and they're very deserving uh, in every respect. They've worked so hard, and uh, they've been very coachable, uh, and they've been so much fun to have. Uh, just, you know, I just couldn't be more proud of a group. It's just, it's just you know, pretty, pretty overwhelming in all honesty, and I know that that emotion can only last for a while because we got to regroup for tomorrow. But uh, right now we're going to enjoy this for at least a couple hours and then we'll get back to work.